In this video, we will review some major cities and national parks that the October 14th, 2023 annular eclipse path will pass over. The 2023 annular eclipse path will stretch diagonally across the United States, beginning in Oregon and passing in a diagonal southeast direction across parts of California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. The path of annularity is 125 miles wide. The path enters Oregon at 9.13 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time and will diagonally cross over the majority of the lower half of Oregon. In Oregon, it will pass directly over Eugene, Springfield, Roseburg, Crater Lake National Park, and Klamath Falls. Then the path will head over the northeast corner of California and into Nevada. In Nevada, the path will continue directly over Winnemucca, Elko, and Eli. After passing over Great Basin National Park in eastern Nevada, the 125-mile wide track of the moon's shadow crosses into Utah. There it will pass over Richfield before heading over the many beautiful national parks in the southeast corner of Utah, including Capitol Reef National Park, Bryce Canyon National Park, and Canyonlands National Park. Then the path crosses over Four Corners, a region of the southwestern United States consisting of the southwestern corner of Colorado, the southeastern corner of Utah, the northeastern corner of Arizona, and the northwestern corner of New Mexico. The path then crosses the rest of New Mexico. It crosses over Santa Fe and Albuquerque before speeding along over Roswell and Carlsbad and then heads into Texas. In Texas, the 125 mile wide path of the moon's shadow will cross over Odessa, Midland, and Big Spring. It will then continue over San Angelo and San Antonio before zooming over Corpus Christi and leaving the United States across the Gulf of Mexico. The October 14th, 2023 solar eclipse is going to be an exciting event. If you are along the annular path where the moon's dark and tumbral shadow will pass, you will experience an annular eclipse. The moon will block the center of the sun, making the sun look like a ring of fire. You also might feel it get a little colder and might hear some night animals like crickets start singing. The rest of the United States will experience a partial eclipse, which is also amazing. During a partial eclipse, the moon will only block a portion of the sun's light, making it appear like a crescent. Remember, never watch a solar eclipse without proper eclipse glasses, or you could damage your eyes. The American Astronomical Society is a great resource for eclipse safety at eclipse.aas.org. This video was created by the Eclipse Soundscapes Citizen Science Project team at ERISA Lab. You can stay updated on the Eclipse Soundscapes project by following us on social media at Eclipse Soundscapes on Facebook and Instagram, and at Eclipse Sound UDL on Twitter. All maps are courtesy of Michael Zeiler, whose website is greatamericaneclipse.com.